Hello students, this is Hamantika, your computer facilitator. Today I am going to tell you about chapter 2 that is Windows Explorer through this video. Please go through this video for better understanding of following concepts. In this video, I am going to tell you about the few topics like what's the meaning of Windows Explorer, what are its components, what are the different type of views, what do you mean by sorting files and folders? And last but not the least, what are the libraries or what do you mean by libraries in Windows Explorer? So let's get into detail one by one. Our first topic is what is Windows Explorer? So here it is. Windows Explorer is the file manager or the browser used by user to manage files and folders and network connection as well as search for files and related components. I know it's a bit tricky, so let's get into simple terms. In simple terms, Windows Explorer is a browser which is designed to help us in exploring and managing the drives, folders and files on our computer. It helps you to view, open, copy, move our files and folders. Or in broader terms, we can say that controlling the computer is not at all possible without Windows Explorer. So if you need to locate your file in your computer, that where it is, where you have saved it. So you would be needing Windows Explorer to explore it, to view it, to move it, to open it. So this is a kind of thing is Windows Explorer. Now. How can we access, access the same in our system? So there are two ways to access the Windows Explorer in our system. The first one is to go to all programs, then accessories, and from there we can choose the Windows Explorer. Please refer this guide for the same. What's the second way? So the second way is Go to the startup button, then look for the search option where you need to write Windows Explorer and at the top of the screen, you will get the Windows Explorer option. From there, you can select it and Windows Explorer will get open. This is a slide for the same. You can refer it. So there are two ways through which we can access Windows Explorer in our system. Next is what are its component, which means what are the things that made the Windows Explorer a complete package. So let's have a look on that too through this page. It consists of many buttons like address bar, forward button, close button, maximize button, status bar and many more. So we'll get into detail one by one through this window. Let's begin with address bar so it is something which displays the location of the current next is minimize bar it is used to mini mini means small or shrink the window then maximize window it is used to make the windows view to the maximum or you can say equal to the size of your computer screen then close button it is very self-explanatory term, which means it can be used to close the current window where you are working on. Next is menu control bar. It is a one which contains various menu and icons to work with. Then back button. Again, a very self-explanatory term. It is used to go back to the previous folder. Then scroll bar scroll bar it comes when the data contained in a window is more than its display area it means whatever you have opened the currently it has n number of data so that you need to move down to view the same it only appears then next is uh, or you can say i'll be give you one more example on the same like your project file like your project has more than one pages so you need to flip through 
the whole project to move into the desired one. The scroll bar is similar like that. Next is status bar. Status bar is something that is located at the bottom of the window. It displays the status of the file and folder present in the window. Means how many files are there in one folder. We can get to know through status bar only. Next is left pane and right pane. Windows Explorer screen is divided into two parts, the left pane and the right pane. The left pane displays the disk drives and the folders, where the right pane displays the content of the folder or the drive selected on the left pane. So I hope it is clear now what you mean by left pane and right pane. These are something the sides of window, the left side and the right side. Whenever we select a folder on the left side of the window, the all the files contained in that folder will display on the right side of the screen. So this is the left pane and right pane. Our next topic is type of views. So how many type of views in Windows Explorer? So let's go through one by one and how can we move there? So there is an icon in the top right hand side corner having a list terms and a drop down arrow from where you need to view how many types of view in the Windows Explorer. We have eight type of views in Windows Explorer. One is extra large icon, then large icon, then medium icon, then small icon, list, details, tiles and the last one is content. So let's have a detailed on all of them to begin its extra large icon. Extra large icon. This option displays folder. Extra you can see them in this slide. This one is the extra large. Yeah, this, this is the one where you can see the options in very large size or your files and folders in very large size. Next is large icon. In this you can be the files and folders can be viewed as large icon but a little smaller than extra large icon. Here you can have a look on that too. The large icon. Yes, this is the large icon. Our next view is medium icon. So what is medium icon? Medium icon is the best view to look at the files and folders. Please refer this slide for the same too, where you can see all the files and folders in the files. Our next one is small icon. As you work with small icon, so the icons are not too large, not too very small. You can have a look at that this slide. Next one is list. self you can have your files and folders in the form of list only. Just a list, a icon along with their name. Next one is details icon. Details means you have the file name, you have the icon size, you have the type of the file, you have the date modified and you have the size where you can get every detail about your files and folders. Next one is tiles. Tiles means a size larger than the small one and a bit smaller than the large one. That is the tile cycle. Here it is. Next is content icon. This one displays and folders in a content format with name, type and size information. The next, so these are the type of views in a Windows Explorer. The next one is sorting. Sorting means arranging files and folders in alphabetically order means either from A to Z or Z to A. This can be done in Windows Explorer by following these steps or you can refer the snapshot 
what you need to do just do a right click in your right pane area and you'll get the option by sort by now sort by whom you want to sort it with name you want to sort it by type by date modified or size and you want it in ascending or descending order so we have various options to which we can sort our files and folders in one place so that it can be easily searched and access so just like it's your almira like it's a place where you kept your clothes accordingly and systematically our next topic is windows explorer four default libraries what do you mean by libraries so let's have a look what are the libraries library is the place where we can organize and systemize our data according to the different folders we have now what are these different folders one is for document second is for music third is for pictures and fourth is for these are the four different libraries that we have in our system by default all the documents get stored in the document folder all the music files audio file get stored in the music folder all the pictures jpg file pics can stored in pictures folder and the video as the verses all the videos file stored in the videos folder so it is a place where every file will get in their organized structure according to their name and extension you can have a look on that this is the document library and music library next one is picture library and video library so these are the things that we have in our windows explorer so just to wrap up what we have done so far it's about windows explorer its introduction its steps its views its parts and its libraries please please go through this video twice or thrice along with your book chapter 2 to make it more sensible till the time stay safe stay at home thank you